Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. It goes until uh, we go until uh, uh, midnight. You can slouch down a little bit. I've got you too big in the in the picture here. You know, I I I was it, it, no. You don't no. You don't have you don't have to do that. No, you don't have to do that. No, that, it, it, that's not needed. You said the slouch. Slouch. Let me turn on your mic. That would help. That would help. The, the, well, wait a minute. See, the thing is. Huh. huh. See what the problem is? Is you're bigger than I am. See, folks, when I do the split screen, see, see how she looks. Well, she. It doesn't matter. Who cares? She is bigger than I am. So I'm just wasting away. Hi. Hi. How you doing? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Bum, 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 bum. Is that your little song that you sing? Yeah. Every, and next every Friday, I'm taking off. From where? The office. Oh, I thought you meant the show. No, that too. You, you can't no. You can't take <laughs> off from the show. You have to do this. It's important that you do it. You're bigger than I am today. How well, no, that's like okay. This? Is that better? Yeah. It, no, but then you get, they can't hear you well. So is that better? No, just get closer to the mic. Don't worry about it. I mean, I could go in here and and adjust you so that you're you're you, you have more of you in here. Does Hold it on. matter? Huh? No, it doesn't matter, but I could go, uh, let's see here. If we tilt you downward, there we go. There, now you're more, uh, oh, I see, okay. I will zoom out. That's what I will do. See, there we go. Now, you're about what I am, okay? Which is an asshole. Uh, Let me see here. Speak for yourself, Charlie. Speak for myself, Charlie, okay. See, folks, we're doing all the magic here on the air. There, now we're, we're kind of an equal size. There we go. Yeah, you, although you are shorter than I am. Well, can't have everything. Do you come up to here on me? Is that no. where you come up to me? No. Where do you come You're up to? You're not that tall anymore. What do you mean anymore? You're probably about 5'10". Wait, now. wait, come, come over here. No. I'll stand up, I'll stand up and you, we can see how tall I, I am compared like to you. I don't feel like standing up. I'm tired. Huh? I'm tired. Why are you tired? I worked the full week. Yeah, I'm so did tired. I. See, you think I do nothing all well, the time. I know you watch a lot of television. You watch more television than you no, admit. No, I... Yes, you do. Do you know what I do? I watch... I have a couple of shows I watch. I'll maybe watch one the night before and one during the day. And the rest of the day, I'm in here potchking around trying to keep this goddamn network on the air. And, and you yesterday, television. yesterday, between Jack and the show, I did four hours of stuff. You know, well, on the air. Keeps you busy and it keeps your mind going. It, 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 well, mind is, is not. Well, it's, it's suffering. imagine if you weren't doing this. Well, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like my brother. What, what do you mean I'd be like your brother? <laughs> would you Would you like to explain your brother to the audience no, here? No. Every time he calls, I go, oh, not him again. <laughs> You know, and and you do everything you can to get him off as fast as possible. And he always calls when we're watching something that we really. Well, you're want to always watch. watching something you really want to watch, though. Look who's talking. No, see, I don't watch as much television as you because you come home. Wait a minute, you come home at like four o'clock, and from from four o'clock until nine o'clock, you are watching something. Hey, I put nine hours in that yeah, office. I don't I watch. I unwind. don't watch that much television. You want to bet? No, I you don't. You watch it throughout the day. No. Yes, you do. No, I and don't. And you watch it at night before you go to bed. I no, I have shows that I record. There we go. And then I watch those shows. So for someone that doesn't watch television. Yeah. So maybe I watch one or two shows totaling about an hour and a half and before I go to bed. And then when you wake up, you watch when it I, in the maybe morning. Maybe another. Maybe and another. then you watch it while you have your breakfast. No, no Then you no, watch it while no, you're in no, the kitchen. No, yes, you do. No, no, no. I mean, I have something on when I'm eating you're in the so kitchen. You're so full of shit. 
What do you mean I'm full of shit? I'm not full of shit. You watch more television you're, than you want to You're full admit. of shit because you're farting like crazy Speak lately. Speak for yourself, she mister. She farts like you wouldn't believe. I do not. A lady yes, you doesn't do. fart. You know, a lady doesn't <laughs> fart. What are those wistful mists <laughs> that you that you utter from your posterior? That come out of your ass and flow over to my side of the bed? Boy, you just... It, it, she had one the other night that just... It, my eyes started watering. Speak for yourself. Yeah, move your cap up a little no. bit because they can't see your face. That's okay. They can't see your it's face. All right. They I'm can't see your face. Tough. They can't see. Is this the most annoying couple you've ever met in your life? What time is it? Well, oh. You can go. You can go if you want to. You sure. Yeah. Mean it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Really, you're gonna do that to me. <laughs> you're gonna leave me all uh, by myself here. Well, why don't you put the Things on. Let people call. I'm not going to go to the phones yet. Why? You think I want to talk to them? Yeah. It's a feel free night. You no, know it isn't. Oh. <laughs> it was a feel free night on Wednesday. <laughs> it's tonight a, it's a. Uh, who who so, said he wasn't going to um, call tonight? Um, uh, somebody said he couldn't call. Yeah. Say. I can't remember who. Uh, I don't know. What's his name? Uh, uh, Patrick. Patrick, it's a Patrick free night tonight. It's a, it's a Patrick free which, night. Which always disappoints me because I really like Patrick. I like Patrick too. You know, he's the sensible Republican we have on the panel. Then we have Phil, of course, who is... Out of it. Out of it, you know. But, oh, you know something? Here's the terrible thing. I hate Phil's politics. Just hate Phil's politics. But I like Phil. Well, it's the same thing you said. What's his name? The... Which, what's his name? The former governor? That, oh, Huckabee? Yeah. No, no, no. Huckabee is charming. Phil his is daughter a, is a cunt. And she's uh, ugly inside, as ugly as she's on the you outside. You know something? This is, she's I a mean, pig I, with eye makeup. Is that nice? It's true. Is that nice? And she lies. You know, here's, here's how my wife watches the news. Uh, and today, <laughs> and today, uh, so-and-so... Uh, Nancy Pelosi spoke before Congress or the uh, Senate and then she looks and she goes one eyebrow is longer than the other <laughs> do you see things like that or is that a is that a mole on <laughs> on his face <laughs> oh you know he he uh, he colors his his beard you know it isn't the substance of what they're saying <laughs> well <laughs> the substance I hear all day you know uh the kids, kids down in Parkland, you complain. Well, that one has acne. You know, come on. <laughs> well, it's not the substance of what you're watching. But every time you always go, and you're always very, you're a fattest. You hate people who are fat, right? You're an ugliest. You don't like people who are ugly. No, only people that are ugly on the inside. Let me ask and she you is this. ugly look, on the look, inside. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, Sarah Huckabee. Okay, she's a cunt. No, no. she lies. If you were that ugly. I would not go on television. If you were that ugly and you got a job like you got, don't you think you're going to kind of hold it over on people's heads? I mean, aren't you going to like like live it up? Kinda? She does. She takes her friends for tours in the White House. Does she really? Yeah. Yeah. I read that in the hive. <laughs> well, you know, but then again, you read stuff that you agree with that plays to you and plays to your sensibilities. Me, I read everything. You know, I'll read left and right and all of that to see what I want to see what the right wing is saying. I I can't see how anybody can possibly excuse Trump. You know, that's what amazes me about Phil, is how the man can somehow say nothing but good things about Trump. Not one bad thing. Yeah. You know, I could have I said a million bad things about Obama oh. when I was on. Uh, Did you just fart? No. <laughs> the, the cup of coffee. I moved the cup of coffee. It sounded familiar. And it went. It sounded familiar. <laughs> it did sound yeah, it's familiar. A, it's, the, it's a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's my big red mug, mug of coffee. Mm. But uh, no. So uh, like uh, today I had to do Snyder. And what did he recommend? I don't care. He's wrong on everything. So I mean, so you, how long do you, you realize to how much money we've wasted going to films he said were good? Oh, I agree. Yeah, yeah. How how long do you 
Or is it a half an hour, an hour? No, 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 no. It's how as long? fast as he can do it. Well, how long? Maybe, minutes? I hopefully, mercifully, it's like 12 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. But then I've got to, I've got to post it, and i got to do this, and i got to do that, and i got to put it in the playlist. Well, because you it, say, well, I can't go outside because I'm doing Snyder today. Like, it's a big thing. Well, you know what it does? It's at, like it, it's at 1.15 our time. And it takes a chunk out of my life in the middle of the day where if you wanted on a weekend, a Friday you were off, you wanted to go somewhere like a movie or something, we couldn't do it till I was through with Snyder. I've never listened to him. Really? You want to? No. I can put him on right now. <laughs> I, I kept thinking hey, maybe I should run him in this show. Run him in the show and I can go to sleep. That would be great. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'd rather bore him this way than bore him with Snyder. You know, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. Anyway, so. And he won't hear what I just said. Because he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen to the show. Yeah. How long has he been wearing that hat and jacket? Ever since I've known him. Has he ever, like, It's like 30 or, years, has he 35 ever years. the hat right? or the jacket? No. It's all, it's I mean, the same. no. I mean, they're different hats and different jackets. I but mean, after all, all, after a while, they have a tendency to, like, smell and dissipate <laughs> and you know get holes in them and whatever but no he's worn the same outfit i first came upon him in um 19 maybe 83 1983 84 something like that wow yeah, yeah. so that's how many years 30 some years yeah yeah same hat same he looks the same way uh buddy love and i were talking about that just, yeah, he's still wearing the same beret, right? I, absolutely. <laughs> and the same uh, leather jacket. Yeah, absolutely. Same <laughs> leather jacket. You know, Only guy I ever knew who kind of wore a cap when he didn't need to. Does he have hair? I mean, yeah, I mean, like, I wear a cap because... You're bald. Well, I don't want to scare little children and dogs. I don't dogs, blame you or, you know. or me. It, well, you don't mind somebody's bald. Do you know, guys always worry about getting bald. And yet, they took a poll once of women to find out who they thought were some of the sexiest men in the world. And like men. half of them were bald. Yeah, like, well, you know. It's a matter of perception. Yeah. Women don't care about men losing their hair, do they? No. That, that's the truth. And guys will do everything they can to make you think they've got hair. Well, it's like women with makeup. Well, <laughs> that's not, nah, it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's, uh, 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 maybe it might be the same thing as a woman with small breasts who wears falsies. You yeah, know? A woman who, with makeup who sh thinks she's pretty. Like Sarah Huckabee. <laughs> Somebody makes her up. They have a makeup person. Do they have her. a makeup yeah, person for yeah. her? Okay. She is, she's a pig with, with eyeshadow. Yeah. It, 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 for some reason, your mic sounds a little. Should I come closer? There you are. That's ah, better. There we That's go. better. So, anyway, so no, what I'm saying is, is that. Um, um, uh, you know, I, I, to guys who are going bald, don't worry about it. You're still going to get, if you didn't get laid before, you're not going to get laid now. True. And if you got laid before, you're going to keep getting laid. Right? Yeah. It, it, you know, and may I say something about hair? You know why guys go bald, don't you? Well, here we're going to say about the sex. No, it, 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 it this yeah, is right, absolutely, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is absolutely the truth. <laughs> sure. The reason men go bald is an overabundance of testosterone. No, I'm not kidding you. In fact, you know when they, they put that, got that stuff, you put a Propecia, you put on your head? Rogaine. It's the same thing. No, uh, no, Propecia. There was one thing called Propecia, and there, and there was another one you could take that, uh, the, the, like Rogaine, but that would keep the hair from falling out. Propecia somehow made it grow. Okay, and what Propecia was, I take Propecia in a form called Finasteride, and it's a different, it's slightly lower form of it, but that's to, sh to shrink my prostate. But what that does is that puts, uh, uh, it, it, it inhibits testosterone. Ah. See, so th that's part of the reason why I have no sex drive. <laughs> have you ever? No, because I'm taking this damn, damn test, uh, uh, Finasteride. It's uh, 1020. 
What what are you? Uh, who uh, did uh, we should have you go to work at a radio station giving time signals? It's ten twenty, ladies and gentlemen. At the Do sound you know of where the, your children are. At the sound of the tone. At the sound of the tone, it'll be ten twenty one. Bing. We used to have uh, in radio stations. We used to have these Western Union clocks, and they were accurate. And when they went up to the hour, they actually adjusted themselves to make sure they were right on time. Did right? they make a noise? Well, what happened was they were also hooked in to the system at the radio station, the audio system at the radio station. So when you hit the hour, it made a sound. Aha. Beep. Bing, so bing. in the old days, you would hear people say, it's 10 o'clock. Beep. And then the thing would go off. And also a little light lit up on the, uh. just on the hour. Just on the hour. But uh, there, yeah, they were Western. I think, yeah, they were Western Union clocks or Western Electric. I can't remember. I think Western Union was who actually had the line that went in to make them at, because they had to have the clocks very accurate in those days because the networks would come on at a certain time and so on. Now we can use the internet. We're pretty accurate right to the second, but in those days you needed some There's kind of There's like too much choice today. What? With everything. What do you mean with everything? With too, much, too much choice of what? Television, radio. I mean, there's just so much out there now. Well, wh wh why, why do you say that? Why do I say that? I grew up with three channels. Yeah. <laughs> now there's well, thousands. Act actually, when you grew up, I think they still were like uh, drawing the pictures into a Probably. stone of rock with a chisel. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, when I, you know, when we were kids, there were three channels. Well, actually, there were, th and they signaled off. Remember at night when they played the Star Spangled Banner. Well, there were four channels to begin with. There were four channels. We had three. No, no, you had four. Think about it. You always had an NBC station, a CBS a station, an ABC, ABC station, right. and then you had an independent station. And a lot of times they would carry things like the other network, like Dumont. We we didn't have an independent station. Did you have a Dumont Television Network? Mm -hmm. You did not have the no, Dumont Television no. Network. Yes, you did, I'm sure. I'm if you were in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Then it, when Jackie Gleason first went on, his first show wasn't on CBS. It was on Dumont. Well, we didn't it was called The Cavalcade of Stars. We didn't have Dumont. Yeah, but, but there was always an independent station that kind of took the off-brand television network. Not in Philadelphia. Yeah. But it was, you know, what would happen was is that today with ratings they go oh it's a station you know a network is happy if they get an an you know eight percent of the viewers watching them okay they go crazy that was a good rating you know but in the old days when you only had three channels it, it was like if you got you could get two-thirds of the audience if you were good enough mm -hmm. you know of course there wasn't as much of an audience there weren't as many people watching stuff and there weren't as many availabilities of stuff but what gets me, this woman who went in and killed those people, or shot those people at YouTube, was mad because somehow they were screwing around with they, her. They closed her account. Wait, did they close her something, account? She was doing something on there. And they, they didn't turned, like it. Yeah. And they, and, and they her, closed her account. Right. And she but was making that, money on it. Yeah. And, I, and the question is, how many viewers did she have? I would imagine if she was making money, she had at least 10,000 viewers. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And I'm sitting here with about 10. Well, okay, so what am I? What am I doing wrong? You're not doing makeup. Uh, well, she she was doing exercise, and exercise, she had big tits, right? And makeup, and she wore wore leopard uh, tiger skin leotards. Yes. But what? How do you go from that to going into YouTube and shooting people, and then killing yourself, <laughs> and then killing yourself? I mean, what what have you you know you know what, what have you done? They say that she was very depressed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no say. shit. You know what? The, I love what they say is, you know, uh, uh, that person went into that place and started shooting up the place. I think maybe she was crazy. <laughs> you know, or they will then take that person to court if they live and and charge them with a the crime, and the defense will say, well, we're we're doing this. Uh, because we want to defend her uh, for because she was crazy, and then the uh, uh, state will yell, "Well, she wasn't crazy, and we're going to prove she wasn't crazy." Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, she just went in somewhere, shot up a whole place with a gun, maybe killed some people. You don't know what the incident was, and then you're not saying they're crazy. I mean, that's the perfect definition she of crazy. She was probably very sane when she did it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but. It, what get you know if you think about it there's a whole different story with that woman that the press isn't going after or talking about 
and that is that fame is seductive. And she, on YouTube, you get a certain kind of fleeting fame, which you hold on to kind of by a tether hook, you know. She wanted to go to Hollywood and become a star. Yeah, yeah. And when all of a sudden that is taken away Gone. from you, you go through a withdrawal, and in her case, her withdrawal was to take a gun and go to YouTube and start shooting up the place. Well, her parents, I think, notified the police. Yeah. So she was like but in this, bad shape. Yeah, this is, but this is, this is an interesting story for our time. What are you doing? Who are you, I'm waving to, who are you waving to, to? the audience. All of a sudden, you decided to wave to the audience? Keep talking. Go ahead. I'm, so I'm, parents keep talking, shoot, Alex. Yes, shoot, the performing shooting, chimp is shooting, over here. She was shooting in the parents. No, but what I'm saying is the interesting story here is this whole in, his story about becoming famous through social media. Oh, yeah. You know, we saw that movie. I remember the name of the movie now. It was called uh, uh, Irene Goes West. Was it Irene Goes, Goes West? West? Yeah. Uh, and it's a very good movie. And it's about this woman who sees this woman on social media and wants to be like her. So she goes west. And follows Ingrid her. goes west. That's the name of it. Um, and she meets up with this woman and ingratiates herself into the woman's life. And it's all about that. And kind copies of, her. He copies her and everything, you know, and uh, about fame and how, how we get fame. And it's, it's uh, you know, I think this is that kind of story. And I think well, there's remember, a deeper story. You remember here. that weird kid that went to Japan and, and, and was shooting Suicide Hill, where all the people go and commit suicide, and there was a guy hanging? Mm. And they took him off his YouTube. Apparently that guy was making millions. I mean, millions. Well, they supposedly have cut. I've talked to some people who uh, uh, Phil was mentioning. He knows a guy that has 500,000 viewers. And he says he's very, making very little money now because YouTube ha is cutting back on the amount of money they pay. Oh. So uh, he's oh. not making money like he used to. Now, somebody with 100 million viewers is probably taking home some cash. But we're, we're, we're well, we're just about uh, a million shy of that. So <laughs> you know, what are you doing? I'm rolling over. No, it's still got two minutes. Well, yeah, no, 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 I'm putting my foot in the way <laughs> so you can't roll over. <laughs> you, you, what do I? <laughs> That's Mr. Hand, ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> wonderful puppet we have on the Bennett program. I should get a puppet for this show. We have a puppet in the living room. We have a puppet? Yeah, should I bring it in? A hand puppet? Yeah. What? Hand in it. Wait, what, what is it? It's a puppet. Is it a rabbit or is no, it? No, it's a, a funny face. Do I know it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't remember it. Oh, well, you'll have to give it to me after the show. If you're a good boy. If no, you, no, if you let we'll me we'll roll start having now. a puppet on the show. Okay. Be nice if I if I had the whole show hosted by a puppet. That would be <laughs> nice too. Shut the box. Shut the box. We got we got Trumpy Bear. Yeah, it's true. Which is uh, the bear right over there. You can't. See him. Hey, you're actually. not letting me what roll you, over. Well, no. I, no, go, go back where you were. Go back where you were. <laughs> prone. Okay, come okay, on over. It's time. Come on over. It's time. It's time for what? To roll over. For, to roll over. Roll over. In roll the clover, over. Roll me over. Lay me down and do it again. Yeah, let me see here. Let me also get this here. So, I have so that who was ready. the guy from Br Great Britain? Oh, that, that was, was uh, nice. Douglas. Was Douglas. Nice. He was very good. Yeah. I mean, we got a, we had a good uh, discussion about uh, yes, you did. Uh, about, uh, about weapons, about, about weapons and things like that. And, you know, politics. Huh? And a little politics. A little politics, and you know, we never know who's going to call. Oh, wait I a minute. Right. I guess I should open the lines. Huh? Otherwise, you're going to give me a bad time. Yes. She also gives me a bad time about the uh, the range in the kitchen. Well, he leaves the flame on. Well, because it's very quiet. It doesn't I, matter. You leave the flame on. If it made noise, I'd turn it off. No, you wouldn't. But I forget to turn it off because I have a process I go through, and sometimes I have it down low so you, you can barely see it when you come in. I see it. Every time. First thing I do is look at that. Uh, I just had a belch there. Okay, I'll turn, I'll turn the lines on here, and then we can sit here and plaintively look at the audience. 
That's gone over well on our audio feed. <laughs> but for those watching on the listening on the audio feed, we're staring at the camera, waiting for people to call. Okay. Anyway, you know what used to happen if you went that long on a radio station they cut without sound? They no, fire you? no. We had a thing that would sense when they thought the station would, when this thing thought the station was off the air because there was no sound. Because there's always sound on a radio station. There's somebody backup, talking, there and then there's music and whatever. If you went silent for like five seconds, all of a sudden, this alarm in the radio station would go off. Wow. So you, you never went silent for any amount of time otherwise. So it told you when your signal was, was not on and so on. Anyway, uh, we have our lines open. Please uh, call. Don't beg. There's no reason to beg. I'm not going to beg. See here, I'm. I, uh, you know, some night nobody's going to call, and then I can just say bye. No, you've handled it before. No, I would. I I, w I would not sit here for the next hour and a half talking. I'm sorry. Half an hour. I'd do that if I were getting paid for it. If I were like serious and nobody was calling. Oops. Whoa. There's Phil already. He, he, oh, well, there's Jeff. We'll answer the Jeff no call. Uh, and, oh, and, uh, somebody turned down, turned, down, turned, turned down my. Oh, uh, there, there you go. It was Jeff was doing that, I think. I, right, Jeff. Not, sorry, I haven't I'm touched. Sorry. Him. I'm sorry. I'd do that if I were getting paid well, for it. Who's if got us? It's serious. you. It's nope. you, Jeff. Nope. I can tell. There's Phil you, already. You got, uh, who, who's got Jeff. who's got the show on right now? <laughs> I don't think I do. Let no. me. Uh... No, no it was it was Jeff because I could tell because the little blue the, the little off. blue bar. Yeah. Yeah. Were you watching? Was that because you were seeing the video, Jeff? Now I can't hear you. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, we can't hear you. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, well. Uh, I'm on. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, was it your? Was it? Were you the one playing the? A double s yeah. signal. I didn't know that. Yeah, you probably some from from your browser, and you have one thing up and another thing was running. Yeah, I have that happen from time to time. Uh, hello, Phil. Hello, Jeff. Hi. Hey. Hey. So, uh, you know, Marjorie, you said the other night that my uh, politics was dangerous. I said uh, that. Yeah, well, I'm not dangerous. Here, I'm, yeah, I'm coming just closer. a Republican. <laughs> 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 what, what, you having trouble moving? Yeah, well, you got this little ledge you're, down you're there. You're getting sold. You can't even roll. What are we going to do when we have to put you in a wheelchair? I'll take a walker. I don't remember saying that. What, was it last Friday? Because I'm only on weekly. Yeah, it must have been. Very weekly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. You know, I think we're living in a dangerous time right now, and it's scary. No more dangerous than it was 100 or 150 years ago. Wait a minute. Remember, wait a minute. At, the, at that time, they used to duel. What but, a, that's a, I don't, that's, I don't again. What about ism? Okay. What yeah, about what about then? I don't remember those days. Yeah. 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 Well, Alex, I, I don't. I don't go for this. Uh, what about ism as an excuse to to cut the conversation? Well, no, uh, but I mean, it, you're if you if, if you're always trying history, to compare something to something else, it doesn't matter that something might have happened. History repeats itself. Uh, no. Well, how is this history repeating itself? Uh, the, the the divisiveness. I don't of, think there's any other of, time in the history of the of the American uh, Constitution and of the the Republic that we've ever had Bozo as a clown. Well, uh, and and we've never been so divided. Uh, we're divided because of social media, and we're divided because uh, it's it's like social media allows people to have road rage. Uh, and they, no, think they, they allow they allow people to have an opinion. Uh, no, nah, you know, having an opinion is one thing, but having a different opinion isn't dangerous. It's it's healthy, you know. Well, uh, listen, that's why I have you on. You know, no, no I understand. Uh, it's it's just that I was I wanted to talk to um, it being dangerous, and you know, not, nothing terrible about that. It's just that. There's I, always think, I think we're living in a dangerous time. I think we're. I, you know, I, we, and were, it's we, scary. we were talking. Both of us were talking. Yeah. She was saying the other night, "Gee, you know, uh, I just like to move to another country." And I said, "You know, if we were maybe like twenty years younger, I think we would." 
You know? Yeah, but they don't let you say what you want to say in another country. Oh, oh really? I can't say what I want to say in England? I can't Not say what really. I want to say in France? Are you out of your mind, Phil? They jail you. No, they jail you here. Uh, no, that's not uh, no, true. No, no. When you no. want to talk about freedom of speech, I yeah. I know for a fact, being someone in the media, that I had to watch out on certain subjects or I would be out of work. And you can look all around you at people, even at Fox, who give out with some kind of opinion and all of a sudden Fox doesn't have their back. Well, you know? uh, uh, that to me... Know, except to, in this Laura Ingram thing, finally they got a set of balls. Uh, and, uh, they're going to let her come back after they said yeah. she's on vacation. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, they. I guess uh, who's the Murdoch that runs Fox says that he doesn't like the fact that the uh, the company has not been standing behind the uh, the people that work for them. And uh, you know, I really think that uh, all of these. All I'm saying is, you you, you think you think we have freedom of the press. I got to tell you that we don't. The press well, is very timid. When you look at the people who have tried to get the news out. You go back to the things like the Pentagon Papers and so on. They had a large price to pay for having released that's, that information. Mm -hmm. and, and that uh, price of freedom. Uh, well, well no, you say that's the price of freedom, and then you're telling me that other countries, I wouldn't have the same freedom of speech. That's not the price of freedom. That's the restriction of freedom, Phil. Other countries, they shoot you uh, for your oh, freedom. Oh, they shoot speech. you in England? Uh, like, they shoot you, they shoot you in Sweden. Wait a minute. They, they shoot you in Sweden? They shoot you in Norway. They shoot you in Italy. They shoot you in Spain. They shoot you in France. I don't think so. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. I've yeah, been man. there. They have a they have much better freedom of speech in those countries than we do. I, I you know, I can't uh, argue that at the moment because I haven't sat down and and done that sort of research. But I can tell you that in our country, uh, we do have freedom of speech. No, but we, we don't. Have, I'm telling you, as have, someone who has had to have that freedom of speech, no, that you the, that clearly you do that, not. I'm that's telling because you. Because news is private. Uh, and it's not private. It's because uh, it's because of the golden rule. What? what, what, what? Now I'm, I'm saying good night. Yeah, yeah, you better say <laughs> no, good night. You know what guys. the golden rule is? <laughs> what? He who has the gold he rules, makes, the rules. makes the rules. Yeah. And the, right. Yeah. His name is Donald Trump, I guess. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is you can't say that, you know, other countries uh, are, are, you know, don't have freedom of speech. I, England, it, they relish it. They absolutely yeah. relish it. In, in, the, in countries like Denmark and Sweden and Norway, uh, they, uh, they live it, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, in France, uh, you don't have a problem that way. Uh, you know, they believe, and a lot of these countries believe explicitly that when you say freedom of speech, you mean freedom of speech. Now, you have to go to Russia to find a place where, you know, you're taking your life in your hands if you say something bad about Putin. Well, yeah, you know. Or Cuba or any of these other uh, despots. What about the Philippines? You think you'd get away with saying something uh, against Duarte? It was, it's so, but you're talking about the Philippines. I mean, you're, you're finding the countries that do have despots running them. And by the way, we currently have a despot running ours. So you know, you see, you're uh, you're trying to be divisive, and rather than seeing all the good that he's doing. Oh, oh I see. And, okay, okay. And, tell me the good he's done. Come on, tell me something. Okay. Well, he, right now mm -hmm. he's standing up to the Chinese. Oh, okay. Yeah. Our intellectual properties to stop the importation of of uh, goods that are counterfeit. Uh, no, no, no. But that isn't his main thing. He's putting a tariff on things that have nothing to do with that, Phil. Well, he's putting... Uh, he's, he's not putting doing it, anything. Uh, he's not doing anything to stop that counterfeit stuff. All, all these tariffs do are doing is, per, is putting a tariff on things that he feels that America can't compete with. That's not true, because what he's saying to them is he won't enact those, ta those uh, tariffs if they decide to trade in a, in a, no. in a free... You, you know what I haven't land. done? I haven't gone to the citizen panel. <laughs> it's sitting here with me on here. Yeah, I'm oh. sorry, folks. Uh, now you can see the citizen panel. And you know why I don't have more of them? Because nobody's calling. Oh. 
Yeah, well, it's, you know, Patrick said he wouldn't be here, so nobody else shows up. See, that's, up. What, that's what's happening to me. I'm so out of it now that I just left my picture on there rather than going to the citizen panel. They don't want to see my picture. So the first or... <laughs> thing I do when I go to the citizen panel is I hit the button so everybody can see the citizen panel, and I'm just down in the bottom, you know. Well, we, we, only, we got a small panel. We, we had a small panel? And I'm occupying. Jeff, what, you know, do you think that uh, we uh, have freedom of speech in this country that other countries don't have? I think there are countries that don't have the freedom right. that we have. Yeah. But there's a lot of them that have maybe more than we have. And, and How much more have. can you have than the guarantee? Uh, in but the there isn't. I'm telling you, Phil, I mean, I know for a fact that there are things you cannot say and broadcasting and in the press without having to pay a large price for it, okay, and being tr shut down and people trying to stop you from saying it, okay? Well, they may try, and and and, and they and in many in, in, in many cases they succeed. Well, it's because they're going to use whatever they can use uh, to, uh, your, to get their your your president's trying to shut up Stormy Daniels. Hey, no, they already paid for that. She agreed. Uh, she took the money. She agreed, and now she it wants isn't, more. Isn't that a form of stifling somebody's freedom of speech? No, she, they made they made a deal. She could have said, "No, no, no, I'm not taking the 130 or 150 thousand dollars. I want to I want to parade around with this selfie picture and claim that I slept with you one night uh, at a golf tournament." He hasn't. That, he hasn't. He hasn't denied it. And Melania doesn't he, look like she exactly doesn't believe it. Well, you know, he says he met a lot of people at those tournaments and, and had his picture with her. And his she, dick in them. Yes. yes. Well, maybe. Yeah. And, you know, I think, you know, my president is uh, is a hound dog and uh, and a good one. No, he's a harasser of women. He's a man who u used his power to over women to get sex. You know, well, he, so far, so far, both. Both women that have come out and, and want to talk about their encounters said that it was consensual. Uh, yeah, it was consensual. But how about the uh, how about the uh, the women he felt he could just grab their pussy? This was his interpretation of the uh, celebrity uh, business, and it's true because if you oh he was making he like was Weinstein, making a comment on celebrity. I see. That's what he was. That's doing. exactly what he was. He doing. said. He said well, that's he why said, he said I can. He yeah, that's true. He can. I can but grab it, a woman's pussy, and she won't do anything about it because of who I am. That's right. That I and, use the word I and me and I and if I. And, or his and, his claim that he could shoot a guy in Manhattan. And nobody's going to do anything. Uh, yeah, and he was right. Well, I don't think that's exactly true. I think uh, my favorite uh, Jimmy uh, O'Neill might uh, disagree with you about that. Well, you know, he's done a lot of things that hasn't uh, affected him. And whether it's shooting a guy on Fifth well, Avenue. Well, just because it hasn't affected him, because he, he's completely managed to wiggle his way out of these things, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, he did. if he did them, he did them. Yeah, well, what he said in that interview... Do you think he's an honest businessman? Do you think he's an honest businessman? I think he's the businessman. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. I asked you a question, do you think he, because, you know, after all, we make a big deal out of our presidents being honest and being, you know, I will not tell a lie, I chopped down the cherry tree. Uh, do you think he is an honest, an honorable man? Uh, I think he You're stalling. Uses the law. No, you didn't say, yes, I do. You're starting to give qualifications on why you think there's a reason he might possibly be honorable. Well, let me say this about bankruptcy. Have you ever been. Uh, uh, what, we haven't even talked about bankruptcy. We're talking uh, about honesty. This, this, is, this is where the honesty and the integrity sort of cross the line. For instance, I did a job where at the end of the job, uh, the guy killed himself. And uh, the heirs to his uh, building said, oh, don't put a lien on us, we'll pay you. Well, they filed bankruptcy and I got nothing. So 
uh, what does this I have same? to do? I'm, we're I'm all, I'm I asked you a simple question, and you're not giving me a straight, honest thing. answer. Do you think Donald Trump is an honest man? Are you restricting my freedom of speech? No, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I, I'm. Re, I'm. I'm. What I'm doing is I'm restricting you from going off topic. No, I, it's not off topic. The guy is accused of screwing no, contracts. No, that's not that. I am not talking about. Do you he's, think, uh, looking at his life, you have yet to say to me, "Yes, I think he's an honest, an honorable man, an honest I man." I don't know the guy well enough. I haven't uh, dealt, you uh, have now. If, if, if <laughs> I, I don't think that he's a dishonest. If I guy. said to you, if I said to you, do you yeah. think Obama was an honest man? Absolutely not. Why? Oh, because I think he was the Manchurian candidate. He had no, 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 no. That's all. That's all in that your mind. Was he an honest and honorable man? Do you think that he was? Yes, he was. He, he was. Okay, yes. so you just said that. Oh. Yes, he was. But when I ask you the same question about Trump, you don't give me that same answer. Well, Trump was more complicated. You had a guy in Obama that owned one piece of property and has been on the been on the public dole since he started in. in, uh, in well, I got politics. news for you about your boy Trump. He doesn't own shit. Okay, well, that's not true. Because what he what he does own, he owes to the bank. All right, he owns Mar-a-Lago straight out. He owns a number of other properties straight out. I sent you that article. It said what the mortgages were against those properties, and he's got plenty. I don't think we're going to have to worry that he's going to need a pension at the end of this thing. Hmm. You know, uh, he'll be able to support himself. Yeah, yeah. I guess. But um, in these bankruptcies. Uh, People, people get stuck, you know, uh, and, you know, honest people. Uh, uh, all I'm stuck. saying, I just asked you a simple question and you're not giving me the simple answer. Is he an honorable and honest man? His situation's much too complicated for uh, me to come. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> Honesty is an absolute. It isn't determined by circumstances. You're well, either honest or you're honest. not honest. Oh, he's okay. too honest. Right, because he, he, he says things off the cuff. No, 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 no. I'm, uh, that's not what I'm talking about, Phil. I'm talking about as a, a moral human being, is he honest? Is he honorable? In, in, his, in his world, he is. Oh, oh God, you're qualifying it, and yet when I asked you about Obama, you went, yes. Yes, he's a very simple guy. <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Jeff. Will somebody else call, by the way? Or are we going to sit here arguing like this all night? <laughs> of course. I think the guy is honest occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? I, you know something? I don't know that that's true because I think the man lives in a delusion. You well, know, I mean, I think, I, I think he has himself convinced that what he's saying is true, but it's not. Everything the guy promised... He's done. That's why everyone is pissed off, because they said, oh, most candidates promise the world, and then when they become president, they don't do any of it. Uh, your Obama, he said he was going to close uh, Guantanamo on day one. You know why we vote? a lot of people voted for Trump? Because they said, well, that's a shitty idea, but he'll never do that. That's right. <laughs> well, he's just doing what he said he was going to do, and so therefore everybody's pissed off. The things that he said he was going to do, I like. He said he's going to keep Guantanamo open. Good deal. He said that he's going to build a wall. He is. He said that he's going to go after the Chinese and, uh, and, and, and structure a better deal. He is. He said he's going to uh, uh, work out this uh, problem with North Korea. He is. So what's so well, well, wait a minute. About? Wait a minute. To begin with, uh, he's nowhere near close it doesn't matter. Wait, hold on a second. Will you let me finish? You didn't even know what I was going to say. Yeah, what what yeah, was I going to so say? What was I going to say? Uh, he's nowhere close to having a negotiation with Kim Jong-un. That's correct. And, right. it, and a lot of people are predicting it will not happen. That's, they also predicted he wouldn't do any of the things that he promised. Well, I, well, I for one, believe him. And, and, and well, his him. idea <laughs> now of building a wall is a wall of people, right? <laughs> Well, he's going to put them there until they give him his money to I, build his wall. I see. It's a good negotiation. Do they, get, do they get to go to the bathroom? Well, just like I did, I had this little plastic thing in my back seat, and I just, you know, 
lift the steering wheel up and <laughs> you know hmm. now i got a diaper um, i guess nobody's gonna call tonight ah. where's rob this week we haven't heard from rob we usually hear from rob at least once during the week you know uh, rob is, is it cold by you y yeah well his heater's not working uh so well in those rooms maybe uh, he doesn't want to go downstairs it could be it could be uh, but, uh, uh, we, you know, we could use some callers, folks. Uh, I, oh. don't, I don't know why we don't have any tonight. Did, did I tell you that I took Facebook icon off of my cell phone? I, uh, I'm going to get a cortisone shot on Monday. Uh, my left thumb from scrolling uh, Facebook mm -hmm. has now got a, a tendon issue. Are you yeah. blaming Facebook for that? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, you know, I just scrolled too much. You know, I looked at my phone's usage, 51% Facebook. So I said, really? that's it. I'm done. Really? Yeah. How, how do you know? How, where huh? do you find out how much usage you have? On uh, it'll tell you which programs you use and what the percentage of the oh, usage Oh, really? Is. I have never. Where is that? Uh, it's is that in your it's, general? Yeah. Well, I got to turn this back on. Here, uh, folks, since nobody's calling, we can play with our phones here. Yeah. Um, is this like your cell phone or on your? Yeah, it's on the, on the cell phone. Is it under preferences? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it was under uh, uh, utilities or uh, what, what do they call that? General. Yeah. Well, per, yeah. Per, uh, yeah. yeah. We, we go to, down to general. And then where do you go? Uh, uh, a usage, I think. iPhone storage. Usage? I don't know if there is a usage thing. I don't see well, usage. I didn't get over to it. Huh. Uh, and um, Bluetooth. Hotspot. iPhone storage tells me how much storage I'm using. Official offload unused apps. Uh, no, 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 no. Wow, I've used a lot of my uh, calculating category sizes. I'm, Wow. I've, Did you find I've, I've got 128 gigabytes in this phone, and I've already used 84. Wow. That's ridiculous. Got to stop downloading porn. Hmm? What? Don't download the porn. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. It's, it's here somewhere. Uh, accounts, passwords, uh, general. Let me try that. Um, I can't <laughs> okay. find it right anyway, now. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I, I have no idea where you would find out where you were. Yeah. I, I've I've found it before, really. And, uh, okay, I know it's here. Reminders, music, photos, cameras, uh, podcasts, uh, TV provider. Then it's got all the uh, the different Just programs. Just try it on search. Uh, you mean like Siri? Uh, let's see. And your cell phone. If nobody calls, we're just going to do this all night, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you probably get a lot of viewers. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually gone down. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah. There's uh, there's a thing in here. Let's see, was it under battery? Maybe. No. Hmm. That no, wasn't under battery. Um, oh well. Forget I'll, it. I'll find it eventually. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Uh, so anyway, we could use some calls from some more other people. And if I don't hear from everybody anybody by eleven, I think I'm going to close the show off tonight. What the hell? You know, if you don't want to call the show, then I don't want to do it, right? Hey, uh, I think, you know, I've never heard uh, your, um, uh, the guy that, uh, Schneider, mm -hmm. uh, and it's because you have to catch it in the rotation mm -hmm. after your show. That's right. Uh, well, why, should, why wouldn't you put it on demand? Because I then have to fill out one of the postings for an on-demand thing, and I just, I'm doing enough of them already. Okay? All right. I have four uh, I do a night. That's 16 a week. That's 16 times uh, 10 weeks would be 160. Isn't he once a time, week? What? Isn't he once a week? He, he's, uh, he's once a week, yeah. But still, I've got to, do, I've got to do post the show. I don't want to go through that. It's enough trouble as it is already. All right, because, uh, you know, I've never heard it. And uh, I, I could uh, sounds. Uh, well, just sit there and listen to our twenty four seven feed, and once every eight, eight hours or so, you'll hear him. Yeah. It's yeah. very random. Yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, um, what, what were you saying, Jeff? 
I never listen to him. I don't know when he's on. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what I could do. Uh, if if by eleven o'clock we don't have anybody calling, then I'll say goodbye to you guys and just play nothing but Michael Snyder over and over again for an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Staying yeah. awake. Uh, you know, it, it, I'll find this thing in the middle of the night and I'll text you where it is. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That, that'll be the way I find it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, because I didn't know you could find out which programs you were using more than others. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Not only did somebody show me how to find it once, then I found it on my own, and uh, and but I don't remember how I found it. Yeah. It says here you can disable apps that you don't use. Yeah, yeah. that probably uh, saves battery. Well, no, it saves space. Huh. It's meant to save space. But, uh, so uh, of the stuff you use, I know there's like a little timeline. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you have your 85 gigs of, uh, of, I, I, of usage? I, well, I, I, let me see here. 85 gigs of usage. Um, where are we? Facebook, Facebook. Where is it? And then I went to, where did I go? I went to general. And then I went to uh, iPhone storage. Uh, let's see here. Well, media takes up uh, I don't know a certain amount. Doesn't it doesn't have uh, the time? Oh, here, here we go. Podcasts. Ooh, oh, there it is. Oh, f no, these are just the t storage. These things take. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, and apps take up about as much as my media, and then there are photos, and then there are a few other things. It takes up eighty-four gigabytes of of space. On my, so on my phone. paying for the cloud for that space too? No. Oh no. No 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 no. I don't put everything up on the cloud. I don't. You know that's a that's a waste of. Yeah. It's a waste of money. Yeah. yeah. I, they they got me for a dollar a month. They got you for a dollar a month? Yeah, the 50, 50 uh, megs or whatever it is of gigs. N no, the the hundred gigs is yeah. two ninety nine a month. That's the cheapest one they've got. I think I'm paying 99 cents. I don't think you can be. Hmm. You know. I'll look. Hey, folks, anybody going to call? Uh, you, got three, you got three minutes. I mean it. <clears throat> I absolutely mean it. You know. So, what? Alex, you know, in Harlem, there's this big famous show in uh, theater there that used to have all the rock and roll. The Apollo? You mean the Apollo? Yeah. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine says that that there's an interesting tour of the place. Do you, have you ever been down there? No, the I haven't. I really years? haven't. No, no. Um, I mean, the theater's there. I go by it all the time whenever I walk up to 125th and like have any business. Or? Well, no, it, it's you know, I mean, it, it, they have shows there uh, uh, continually, and um, given nights you buy a ticket for the show ahead of time and you go in and watch it. You know, just like concerts. And they have their, I think their uh, amateur night at the Apollo there and a few other things. But basic, basically it's a, uh, you know, it's a place where concerts are held. Yeah. And because it has kind of um, a hallowed reputation, a lot of people want to play there, you know. So. I haven't been there in a, can't remember when. But yeah. Maybe I don't want to go. Yeah, well. Anyway, you know, it's, uh, um, uh, we're coming up on a minute left here, a minute and a half left until Do I... they let you out of Connecticut on a regular basis? Um, if I pay for the, the get on the train, I have to pay the ticket. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, okay. no, I could, my car, but yeah. that costs too much money. There's a minute left until I end the show. And then I'm just going to go silent for the hour. What the hell? You know, I think we ought to play Michael Schneider. <laughs> you really want to you... see what the numbers are. You know, mm -hmm. don't be. You know, you just see all of a sudden if you play Michael Schneider and you know you get big numbers. I doubt uh, it. You know, yeah, I doubt it. Uh, well, the challenge is on in thirty seconds. You know, so. well, I would have to get that ready if I were going to do that. You know, yeah. well, and, you press the button. Huh? It's your freedom of speech there. It, well, I don't, I don't have it on a machine where I can play it right now. It's only on the other machine that it's, uh, that it's playing. 
Yeah. Uh, you looking forward to getting your new machine? Huh? Yeah, yeah. but I don't know what I'm going to do with it because if, if I have to sign off in 15 seconds, I'm never signing back on again with this show. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious, folks. Well, then uh, start ten, out. Ten, ten more seconds. Yeah, well, Five I'm more still seconds. looking for that, uh, that uh, program. Okay, time's up. This is the end of the ramble. We're never going to do it again. I'm on the last. Yeah, you're yeah. on. You guys yeah. are on the last show. We're never going to do this again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're through with it. Uh, yeah. And and uh, because nobody nobody called. Yeah. And uh, is there uh, anything going on tonight that would? Uh... No, no. We have a lar fairly large audience listening to us on video and on audio. Um, uh, well, probably not, you, not so much so, but there's still a good size audience. You know, black you know. out the audio and the video mm -hmm. and just say you got a call if you want to talk. Well, you know, nobody cares about the show anymore. So I'm going to, uh, you know, that's that's it. I, you know, why, why should I continue with this? Well, do you care? Huh? Do you care? Uh, not really. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. OK, well, uh, it's been nice doing business with you guys. Yeah. You know, and uh, wait a minute. Where's my where's my theme here? Let me get my theme song going here. Hey, uh, let's not forget to wave. Well, you know, no reason to wave tonight. Wave goodbye forever because uh, really this is it. This is the last ramble and we're, we're signing off for the last time. Uh, and uh, because nobody uh, lack of interest. I said if I ever got down to two people and that was it by 11 o'clock, I was going to stop the sh doing the show. So, yeah. hey, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, uh, what I want you to do probably is is wave goodbye. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Kevin, is, co Kevin is coming online. All right. Hey, Kevin is coming online, so maybe he's going to save the day, although I've gone a minute, two minutes longer than I said I was going to. But if Kevin calls, uh, I'll... Uh, We'll give him about a minute to call here. We'll right. give him till the theme is over with, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a delay, uh, you know, when you ask for people. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I've just, uh, I, I just, uh, there was, it was a time I made a deal with myself. Well, there's Kevin. There's Kevin. So Kevin, Kevin has saved the ramble, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, oh, Kevin has saved the ramble. Come on. What took you so Come long? On. Come on. What? Don't do, Don't do that. Don't do what, what? What took you so long? Do not sign off, Alex. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I know you better than that. I mean, where's all my old friends? Where's 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 Rob and where's Renee and where's? I've been. I've been it's been bloody crazy this week. Yeah. I've got a kid on spring break. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to call in, but every time I do, it's about five minutes before nine out here. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I haven't called in, but I tried. What I got in once this week. Yeah, hey, Kevin. There's been a lot going on too. You know, I've been wanting to call and bitch about Trump and everything else. But Kevin, do you know uh, how to uh, on your iPhone uh, where you look at your usage uh, for uh, the different programs? Uh, have you ever seen that? Yeah. Okay, you have. I believe but so. Yeah. Do you know where it is? Um, yeah. Isn't it in about? Go to about. about. And where do you, what, what usage do you want to look at, though? Your app usage on the iPhone. So, for instance, uh, you know, how, what percentage are you on Facebook? What percentage are you on uh, GPS or whatever? Uh, oh, crap. I don't remember that part. Let's see. Uh... Well, if you go to usage, oh, right? you have you saw usage storage. Oh. Crap, I was just I was just in there the other day too. Well, iPhone so storage, it's not a, it's not an iPhone storage. No, it's not it's not <clears throat> an iPhone storage. Boy, and I'm only using thirty three point four gigs of two fifty six. Why do I have all these apps? Why, 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 why have I allowed? I, I must have a hundred fucking apps in here. Yeah, <laughs> they add 
because you click on something else to read a story, and then all of a sudden the app is yeah. there. Uh, here, here's Tony Magno, but he doesn't count as a caller. So you know because he never says anything. You know. So. <laughs> well, gee, now I now I I have to keep doing this show. Uh, yeah, you know, we waved goodbye. We played the theme. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was coming pretty close there. You know, but then again, I I probably be back on Tuesday because I want to play some of these interviews I did with Jack Garfine. So, yeah, that's that's why I called. So I, I didn't want you to lose that because I wanted to see, I wanted to hear that. Yeah, I don't know how to play them off. To be honest with you, uh, there are three of them. There's three thir two thirty I think minutes, your plan is one good. forty minutes. Do it, do, it, do it three separate shows, right? You got well, two or three. But, well, yeah, I maybe once a week, you know, uh, play them off that way. Stretch them out, yeah. That's how they do it, you know. Yeah, I feel I feel bad about them in a way. I'll tell you why. Because uh, I, I, Jack, it turns out, has been very depressed the last couple of weeks. Whenever it comes up to Passover, because it was Passover night that it, the uh, authorities came for them, and they didn't get to finish their seder. Oh, and then uh -oh. yeah, yeah, and and then. Um, uh, April 15th was his liberation from the camps, or as somebody referred to oh. it, his birthday. Uh, and uh, his parents were killed on May 23rd. So this time of year is very... Uh, 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 kind of all mashed together. It, it get, especially at his age, he gets very depressed about it. And so for me to sit here and interview him about it brought it all out. And he said to me, well, I'm glad you did it because you are my friend and you love me and you did it with such care but there are points in this interview where he breaks down and cries yeah. you know and i i don't ever like to feel i'm exploiting something so yeah. I, I i i you know i there's a hesitation that i have in playing them for that reason um uh, but on the other hand, I, I, I don't think that he minded it. I think he said, he said, you made me say things I've never told anybody else, you know. And yeah. uh, so if he felt, if he could do that, he probably did that because he felt comfortable with me. So I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to figure out how to play those things off. Yes, Jeff. I asked two people last night about it. Mm -hmm. if, they were, if they were willing to listen. Were they interested? Because you know it's a, it's a tough. The Holocaust is, is a tough thing that that you gotta. I mean, when you learn it, when you're a teenager, I think, as, as I remember, yeah, I think I read like ten or eleven books about it, and it kind of undid it for me. I, I didn't need any more. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but it's been a long time since eleven years ago, so or whatever since I was younger. Uh, and I'm willing to listen to it again. I'm very interested in it. Well, you, uh, yeah, but it, it can be very uh, demanding. Yeah, it it the thing is that uh, I find Jack's telling of it fascinating because. We, we think of the Holocaust, most of us, as a very one-dimensional thing. Uh, I don't know what, exactly what I mean by that, but that it's, it's, it's a movie, okay? It's uh, Anne Frank in the Attic, and it's uh, Schindler's List, and it's things like that. But to, I, it, it, with Jack, you get the feeling what it was like to be 13 years old and having this happen to you okay and that's far more basic than anything that i've heard told and that's why i think his testament on this program is 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 worth listening to the first part of it is really just a lead up to the second part and the second part leads up to a third act which is just gut-wrenching do you think yeah. that people don't that experience the holocaust don't want to talk about it because they don't want to dredge up those memories. Uh, well, J uh, Jack, Jack, uh, this month is going back uh, to I can't remember which camp when they're having a survivors reunion. So I, I don't know that 
you know, that they don't want to talk about it. I think that they would. They don't want I, to get. I, I they think, don't necessarily. I think it, Jack always is willing to talk about the camps. And, and the reason, I think, is that a lot of it is very cathartic for him. You know, I mean, this is a man who's 87 years old, and he survived that, okay? Imagine, he, he was in 11 different camps, and he yeah. survived it. He came within, you'll find out that he came within three days of dying. Yeah, okay. uh, that's very uh, similar to my friend's dad's uh, thing. He says if they didn't liberate the camp that day, he couldn't have lived another day. Yeah, he, but he, he, had, was, he figured he had about three days left to live, and then they were liberated. Uh, and and uh, uh, he survived it. And not only did he survive it, but when we get back, we ha I'm having him come back in a couple of weeks, and we'll get to the other part of his life, which is is fascinating and interesting in a completely different way. Well, you know, uh, on I an, imagine some oh, people do want to talk to about it, and some people just don't want to relive it. You know, yeah. I used to notice people, especially when I was growing up in New York. You know, you'd notice people that had uh, numbers on uh, tattooed mm -hmm. on their, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and a lot of times that they were they would cover them up or. Uh, sure, I uh, uh, Jack doesn't have one. And I asked yeah. him about it, and he said that was a great misnomer, thinking everybody got tattooed. He turned his into a butterfly? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, he said that uh, that not every, at least this is what he told me. He says not everybody got tattoos. You know that wow. that not every person was tattooed. It, it was you know in certain places they did it to keep track of them and so on. I came. He said he came. He came from Slovakia, and uh, he said uh, I just they just never tattooed me. They never gave me a number. Wow. Yeah, Michael's dad was from Poland. Yeah. But on an up note, if you go to cellular... <laughs> you... <laughs> oh, that's, that's what I love about this show. And so we're talking about the horror, the horrors of the Holocaust and the, the numbering of people and so on. And by the way, where do we find it? Yes, go to tap on cellular, scroll down wait, further, wait you'll get wait. to an alphabetical list of all apps that have cellular data. If you scroll all the way down to the wait, bottom, wait, 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 where, where, do, where do I find cellular on the on the first page of the of the? Uh... I'm not sure. I. Oh, there it is. There's cellular. Okay, there's cellular. Yeah. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see system services. System service. I got to get past all these other things here. Right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Um, Wi-Fi assist, cloud, lifetime. Scroll all the way at the bottom of the apps. At the bottom of the apps, uh, right. system services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tap, tap that, and that yeah. should give it. Oh wow! And then I go to media services. Well, well how would I find how would I find Facebook in that? Uh, it, if it's one of your apps, then it would show up. You you see the icon, and it will and it will tell you. No, there's no. It should give you a screen uh, under under cellular with uh, all of your. Well, your apps. Oh, uh, I, well, no. Uh, uh, under uh, so it goes. Wi-Fi says current period. System services uninstalled apps. Oh, I, no, 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 no. Um, System services is the only one that I have there, and then media services and so on. And uh, no, I don't have. Uh, it's 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 cellular data four. Uh, cellular data four. Yeah, here. Uh, this is I, I googled it, and and this is what the screen looks like. That oh, well, that, yeah, yeah, but that all that is is a bunch yeah, of numbers. But, uh, that, that, what are you, all what that, are you looking for? All that is is the size of the app. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, no, there's uh, that's the size I, of the I, app. All right. Uh, See what happens, folks, when you don't call up this program. We sit here potching with our with our iPhones. <laughs> No, that, that just that just lists all your apps and and how much well, space they're no, taking. No, but if you up. go down to the system services, it gives you um, sizes of whatever we're looking for. Cellular. Well, it's so, system I, services. I, I go into that, and then I've got like general and iTunes accounts and DNS services. But it doesn't tell you how much you're using them. It doesn't say what percentage. No. Okay. 
I just uh, uh, just I gives you me. time and location, personal hotspots, documents, sinks. Okay. The guy who showed me how to do it, I just uh, messaged him. Uh, his first me uh, the first message was, "How do you find cell phone application usage?" And he messaged back with a bunch of question marks. <laughs> so, I see. Okay. So you know, but uh, he you know he showed me because he picked up my phone one day and he says, "Oh, you, look how much time you spend on Facebook," and. Uh, that's that's where I learned about it. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So hopefully he'll get back to me. Oh, is that what you're trying to find out? Yeah, you know, there's a way of seeing how much time you spend on each app. And uh, you sure that wasn't something you got in the mail or something like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it came with that? my many cellular by the way if po folks if you're listening to us and 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 you're bored by this uh, we you know if you go to gabnet.net or you go to uh, uh, my uh, my page uh, my uh, facebook page uh, go listen to last night's show yeah. no no just have somebody <laughs> call up and turn us in a different direction <laughs> you know have somebody type on there and answer the question you know yeah. how do you find i mean this? i don't know where where is that? where are all the people who usually call yeah it's just uh -huh. you know um, but uh, 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 maybe they hijacked. You know, you know what I'm... happens? I got to tell you something about uh, about Tony here. I don't want let's 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 rap, rank on Tony for a second. Oh, wait, no. No. Tony always writes me these Facebook messages to begin with that are just you don't even care about them. Okay, uh, there was one today. What was the one today, oh. Tony? Oh well, here, here here no, but here's the one that I really like, Tony. It was uh, it was just amazing. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, let me see here. Blah 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 blah. Uh, oh, I it was about. Uh, 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 let's see here. Where was it? It was uh, it was about your mother. Yeah. And that she had a cold. Or, oh, I'm calling you later tonight, Alex. My mom sick with the flu, but I am good. I took Vicks just in case. Now, that's well, the I, kind of thing I want to see on a Facebook message. Uh, here. Uh, Tony wrote me, and there was... I told Phil, too. And this How one, this one I like, God. says, I made friends with one of the colored kids. So well, that was for my oh. fourth grade class. God. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Colored kids? Colored one. kids? He, 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 he said he <laughs> This is his. Uh, yeah, that's my fourth grade picture. picture. Which right. one? Which one is you, Tony? Wait a minute. Let me right let me blow this up here a second so see, everybody can I see this. Let me let me. Uh, wait. I got a flower shirt on. Like a uh, let's see shirt. here. The, uh, right in the front row. Yeah. yeah the move bottom. move it back a little bit because it's blurry. Yeah. <laughs> move it back. Just more. A little more. A little more. There we go. Okay. So is it the uh, is is it that uh, on the very right hand side of the bottom row? Yeah. With the with that like sequin shirt, I don't know where I got that from. I mean, you mean that no, very that very homosexual looking shirt? Yeah, my mother put that for me. What about my pants? They look pretty good, don't they? Huh? Those brown yeah, pants? Huh. Those brown pants? What are you doing? Wearing white shoes? What are you doing with that outfit? You look like you're going to move to Florida. Yes, yeah, what I was. You know doing. what? We used to always go to Florida. We used to drive down in the day. Yeah, yeah. I used to vomit in the car too. I used yeah. to constantly. And, oh, then, oh, and, and then, and then he always writes me. Sucks. He always writes me that he. Oh, I gotta tell you something. What? About the Jerry Orbach I read. Well, you see, the thing is, you always write me and say, I'm reading this book. I'll call you later about it. And then I, you I, call I, me later and you never talk about it. I know. I'm sorry about that. I was, I was, me I was meaning to do it this week, but I really was kind of overwhelmed. Why water. are you reading a book on Jerry, Jerry Orbach? That I sounds really to me it, like Alex. it's. I was watching a, a T. Well, I was reading the Roy Cole book I have inside. Um, I was watching a thing inside. How the long American does it take Mall. you to get through a book? Oh, I wanted to read on Roy Cole because he's such a devil, really. You got me interested in him. Yeah, but how long have you been reading that book? What's that? How long have you been reading oh, that book? About a couple of weeks. I'm about 50 pages in, but I'm all over. You're about book. 50 pages I'm in, and it's been a couple of weeks? I'm reading two other books at the same time. What do you do? Lip, lip read? What, what, what is this? Yeah, what, what were you reading? Batman? No, no, no. But listen to this. <laughs> yeah. Uh... What was he going to say? Oh. Uh, but what happened? All of a sudden, he leaves us. This is worse than having He's no going, citizen panel at all. Bury another body, I know it. Huh? Yeah. They're in the wall. Bury another body. Yeah. I, I never like to tell anybody. 
that I actually grew up in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> How about telling him you never left? <gasps> Sorry about that. My uh, brother's talking to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Listen to this. Yes. You know the actor Jerry Orbach? Yes, I know who no, Jerry Orbach no, we don't. In, in the Netflix documentary, do you know he was friends with all the gangsters? He saw our actual mob hit. He was sitting there, and he dummied up. They actually pulled him in for questioning. He never said anything. Yeah, he. You know, they wrote the uh, Bronx tale about him. Really? No, no. I'm no. telling you the truth. I got to get you the guy. Yeah. <laughs> They showed it. The police pulled him in. It was like 1971. He was on Broadway. He wouldn't say anything. Well, you know, if you worked in New smart. York City, I think it was, and you were, and stuff. you were, you were in the entertainment business. Uh, it was not, it was not unusual for you to know mobsters. I mean, I even knew a few mobsters here in New York really? City. Yeah, very famous ones. Oh, wow. Ones that got knocked off. You know. Um, uh, my friend, oh, the best story was my friend Bruce David. He started a, oh, he started a little yeah. porn magazine here in New York. And one day one. the limousine pulls up, the black car sh pulls up and says, get, get, get in the car. <laughs> and he says, where are we going? He says, never mind, shut up. And the car goes and it goes across the Brooklyn Bridge. And they are then in deep into Brooklyn where he walks into a room and there's this very famous mobster there who says, you're going to sell us your magazine. And that's it. And I said, what did you do? He said, I asked how much. <laughs> you, know, I said, <laughs> you don't even you don't even fuck with these guys. They want my fucking magazine. They can have it. You know, Put on these shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, the, the idea of having an association with mobs. I mean, when people say that, you know, Trump was associated with mobsters. Well, of course he was. He was in the building trade. You can't. You had to deal with the mob all the time, Everybody. you know. Yeah. You didn't get anything Everybody. built. So what, I, I that, uh, and, and, and and the funny thing was, my friend Al Goldstein ran Screw Magazine. The New York Times wrote an article once, and they said Screw Magazine is distributed by the mob. So was New York. Times. Yeah, well, that, that's the point. So was the New York Times. Oh, New okay, because you didn't get a newspaper on the streets of New York unless you associated with the mob. When they were building the World Trade Center, yeah. uh, one of my dad's accounts was the Port of New York, and uh, we were putting the carpet in the World Trade Center, the uh, original. Yeah. And the, uh, every every week, there was a guy with a Cadillac that would pull up to my dad's place, and he would get a bag of money, and he would leave. Yeah. Because we had to pay uh, the mafia for every yard of carpet that went in there. They got a nickel. Really? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know. So. And we were only charging ninety five cents, so you know they, they were, when the, when the buildings came down, did they pay you back? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, if the as if a tribute to Phil, the only thing left standing at the World Trade Center was the carpet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, can't imagine, can't imagine pulling that out. I, I think that after thirty or forty years, they've replaced it once or twice. Yeah, probably. Probably. Did you do carpet work in it? Yeah. Yeah. And I got thrown at that job once because I didn't have my union card with me. And there was a guy in the elevator. He says, you got your card. And I said, I didn't, I didn't even carry a wallet. They probably let you in, right? Oh, here comes Charlene to lighten up the proceedings. Hello, Charlene. How are you this evening? I should have called. I was sick. Oh, I, I just want to let you guys know that I did a real good job on my colonoscopy. And I don't have to have them for 10 years. Oh, <laughs> we, no, you didn't do a good job. You, did a, you didn't have any polyps. Oh, Oh, okay. I was going to ask you, Dr. Bennett. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I like you better than Dr. Katz. Hi, baby. Dr. Katz thinks he's Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. And he talked a lot to the people okay. in the in the procedure room. Mm -hmm. But I have to go back and ask him after my endoscopy, which I haven't had yet. Yeah. But like, The endoscopy like goes down. Wait a minute. Let me explain. Let me explain something. The endoscopy goes down your throat. Right, right. The colonoscopy yeah. goes up your ass, and then they have a cystoscopy that goes in your penis if you're a guy. And I wanted to have all three of them at the same time. I wanted to have all three of them at the same time and see if they could see each other. Right, you know. right. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> but anyway, so you came out clean. So you, you must be, how old are you now, Charlene? Oh, God, stop asking me. I'm a woman. You don't I would say, me I would say, I would say you're 50. Am I right? Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Let's stick with that. Well, all I'm saying is that what happens is if 
if if mm-hmm. you're over like 60 and and mm-hmm. you you have a clean bill of health they okay you come back in five years mm-hmm. but if you're under under fifth uh, i think under am i right about this jeff if you're under um uh 60 and you get a clean bill of health on it they will tell you come back in 10 years something like that. yeah yeah I'm, I'm actually on the list to what? show up Oh, well, no, after 75, they say you know, shouldn't even get one. They don't want to put you under. Oh, well, I'm only 71. No. So. Charlene, why did you decide to get a colonoscopy? Well, uh, you three? know, I've been getting them because, you know, I'm, look, after Katie Couric made that big thing, and, you know, when I was old enough to get it, they ha- had me have one, and then they found a couple of polyps, and then I had another one, and they found a couple of. This time they didn't find any. Right. But, um, my primary care and my cardiologist both told me that I have like uh, anemia. So the first thing they think of is they said that they you might have a bloody polyp or something. Yeah. So now I guess they're doing endoscopy to look to see if I have any ulcers or anything like well, that. Well, it's, right? it's good. You get, you get the complete checkup. You know, if if you have any, I had a friend of mine who died of uh, of uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, esophageal cancer. And mm. and that's what you Barrett's, get. Barrett's esophagus. Yeah. Well, it, that can certainly cause it, but you you can also it can also be caused by uh, if you uh, you know if you have a lot of uh, of uh, what do you call it acid reflux, and the acid reflux eventually can cause a, a, a esophageal <clears throat> cancer. So it's always good if you have any kind of uh, problems that way. I it's, have that, and I have a hiatal hernia. Yeah. Well, that that's not a problem in that respect, okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, with the uh, with the esophag- esophagus, if you have a lot of uh, acid reflux, I'm like I take uh, acid reflux pills, so I never get it anymore. I haven't had it in a long time. I stopped they eating. Have me on next food. Food. Really? Yeah, well, but you can take like um, I take uh, what do they call the the Nexium, but the cheap the Costco version, right. you know. Generic, Kirk, Kirk, generic. Kirkland, whatever. Um, uh, Neprazole. Or uh, yeah, they have a name for it. And, uh, and uh, I take that, and I and never I haven't had any problems with, uh, you know, acid reflux. Also, because of the diet I went on, the low-carb diet, that I kind of kept a lot of it away, You know what too. he said to me, Alex? He thinks he's Jerry Seinfeld, you know. He's amusing, but I don't think he's, you know, a stand-up. But, you know, he, he says to me, no carbs, no carbs. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, no, he's, he's a little nutty. <laughs> yeah, the other thing is, I still keep my carbs down to almost nothing, and I'm, I, I'm not losing weight. I gain it a little bit, I lose it. I gain it a little bit, I lose it. But I, I just hover in this area, and I'm wondering, what do I have to do to lose more? You know, and mm-hmm. and uh, I finally just figured, just don't eat. You know. Or get really depressed. One week I got really depressed here. Do you remember? And I got so depressed I didn't eat practically for a week, and I lost ten pounds. And I, that was the best uh, diet I ever had. A depression diet is a really good diet, you know. So. Yep. But if you just restrict your carbs down to about twenty carbs a day, you're going to be you're going to you're going to want well, you're going to watch how the pounds what would just that disappear. Be? Pretzels or something else? No, no. You can eat. Look. I'll, I'll tell you. You know what I can eat on. Uh, I, I I'll I'll tell you an absolutely almost zero carb diet. Okay, for breakfast mm-hmm. have eggs, bacon and cheese. Okay, mm-hmm. or you can have uh, uh, some some ham if it's not cured. You know, Ooh. in there. Uh, but uh, eggs as many as you want. Bacon as much as you want. Okay, and then for dinner have like a, a steak and. Um, that's pretty much it, you know. You just eat meat and cheeses and and uh, and 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 uh, eggs. Stay away from and, bread and pasta. Uh, stay stay away from stay away from the starches. Now I found a bread. This is what I can't figure out. I found a bread. The at New the Jersey store. bread, right? Yeah, it's a New Jersey bread <laughs> that has three. It's fifteen carbs in a loaf, and I'm going. How do they oh, do that? Awesome. Can I believe that? You know, and yet they have two brands of the bread, and both of them say three carbs per fifth of a loaf. Okay, uh, no, but you're going no, but I, I they, they they're going to get in trouble with the government if they keep publishing this on their on the on the wrapper, and it's been like that for two years now. I I have to pull a Seinfeld. 
It's a yogurt situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, don't talk about yogurt, Sorry. Renee. You know, I was watching Dr. Oz, and I hate Dr. Oz. Oh. Then why were you watching him? I just love him. Over, they were driving me crazy. Don't buy any Greek yogurt in the grocery store because it's not authentic Greek yogurt. Oh, well, it's, yeah, it's not. This guy with a big Greek name on there that they couldn't pronounce. Giovanni? Giovanni or something like that? How does he know? No, he had this crazy Greek name, but they, they were showing you that the real Greek yogurt has to go through like a bag and the water. Yeah, you got to squeeze it through like, a cheesecloth, yeah. Oh, it, it, yeah. I was like, I can't go through that when I go to the grocery store <laughs> looking at the labels and, you know. No, yeah. but but uh, this three carb bread, I find whether I eat it or I don't eat it, I don't gain, I don't lose. You know, I I don't understand what it is, but it's three, it's fifteen carbs for a whole loaf. All right? Who is it? What brand? It's yeah, what uh, called it? America's Bakery. And All right, I'm in Jersey. I have to look for this. It's called now. America's Bakery, and I looked uh, I looked it up online, and they have three carbs for the especially for their Portuguese or their. It's a Spanish or Portuguese bread. Portuguese and then, rolls and, or something. And no, and it's one not slice, rolls. One slice is five servings. No, one. No, a whole the whole loaf is five servings. Nah. Yes. Yes. See, that's why I'm looking it up. It, Where is battery usage? And the guy the goes. Well, he's on the phone again. We're talking for. <laughs> he says it's yeah. under battery usage. It, it, uh, it, she's looking for the carbs under battery usage. Yeah. You know, I just wanted He's to throw gonna, this out there, and then I'll, uh, you know, I don't want to change it if you don't want to well, change, okay. Alex. But, you know, have you guys talked about how he's got the National Guard going down to Mexico to just stand there? Yeah, yeah. We talked about that already? Oh, because, uh, so if he's take that's nice. Me, really? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what do I owe the honor to that I get my artwork done? <laughs> I don't know, because the other night I was just sketching well. Okay. While you were talking, oh. uh, yes, I forget everybody can see me. Did any good? Yes, mm. I would like to frame it. I'll trade you. I will trade. So this is this is. Wait, hold on. I, I can't remember. see it. Put it up. This higher. is for Kevin, and this is oh, well. It's for all oh. of you, really. Who oh. wants Kona coffee? Needs to. Sell? I'll trade you a bag of Kona coffee. All right. For right. For what? <laughs> see what else? Yeah. Kona coffee. I want Kona coffee. Okay, I here we go. Coffee, that's why I said your name. Here we go. I went to America, America's Bakery. I went to My Fitness Pal. They list all yeah. the stuff, okay? Then oh, I yeah, went to the Pan Demo De Media Noche, which I is what I used. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. That's not the right one. No, that's okay, not yeah, the right one. Uh, but let me that's see Spanish, here. White Pan Italian Media bread. Noche. Ah, here we go. White Italian bread. You ready? Oh, this is according to my fitness pal. Go to white, uh, 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 and it is total carbs, three grams and a fifth of a loaf. Okay. Hmm. Uh, no, I, I dropped a loaf. Huh? Which one is it? Huh? Which one is it? Boy, I found it, it. It is the it is the uh, white Italian bread. I found it. Oh, well, while he's trying to pin talk about pinching loaves or something over there, wait, wait. I just wanted to tell you. Um, What's his name again? Uh, just, Phil. just type in America's Bakery Congratulations Carbs. Congratulations on your, uh, you know, prostate thing, Phil. Oh. I did a great job. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they carved that thing out like it was a totem. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 what? Where did you find it, Phil? See, we're doing okay. several Go. things here. We're looking for carbs at America's Bakery, and we're what? Okay, battery. You go to battery, I and then battery usage uh, spins around a little bit, and it calculates. And then you can okay. go last 24 hours or last seven days. Wait a minute, but and it'll tell you how much, who's using what, who's the pig what, in your what apps. Yeah. What percentage of apps. Uh, so for right now, for the last seven days, Safari was 32%. Uh, my home and lock screen, 20 um, Wait a minute, it doesn't say that on mine. Well, maybe it, battery uh, usage time uh, since last charge. Where where would I find that? Uh, it uh, battery usage uh, downloaded uh, within like five seconds. Well, it says of, fifty-seven minutes on my usage. But you were looking for battery usage on your Facebook, on your cell phone. Oh, well, it, on the cell phone, and it will tell you what. Well, yeah. What oh, you what have to do with Facebook? By the way, keep up with this, folks. Did you find the three carbs there? Come on, Kevin. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Renee, did what you find the three the carbs? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> they have more than one three carb white br or bread. Yeah. So they sell this stuff. They have a white Italian bread, which you talk about, but then they have the. Oh, see, there there is another one. Is that 15, uh, 15 cal? Oh, that's per slide, two pieces. Is it a whole yeah. grain or something? No, so your white Italian bread from this bakery is only three carbs. Yep. Per, yeah. per, for, for, uh, per there are five per, per, per serving, loaf. For, per serving per and there are five inch. servings in, in a loaf. So that's 15 carbs in the whole loaf. I, I don't know I, how they do that either, Alex. That doesn't sound right. No, it, 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 there must be something that they're leaving out, or there's something about that bread that they're not including. There are no sugars in there. If you look at the I, various I things. Yogurt. Huh? I think they're just lying to you. you well, know? well and there's that, look at your fats. They're virtually not there. Your yeah. cholesterol is zero, sugars. Sugar's not there, protein is one, and total carbs is three, sodium is normal? Yeah. No? So, how do I get it? Uh, who's over there? You. Would you, Alex? I'll, 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 I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something. No, wait, let, me, let me tell you something about this bread, though. There are two, two of them, okay, that they make, and they have the three carbs. The ones that have those carbs, they wrap in a, in, in a, um, a bag plastic bag uh which you have to keep in the plastic bag because if you don't it gets hard and stale really fast so there's got to be some reason for that okay yeah, there's no preservatives in it you probably water, got that exit water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so true where did you find it where? uh under battery usage uh you go to battery yeah. and then usage now it's i have an iphone 10 uh, but uh uh and then yeah. it's that's your battery, though. What do you care about? Yeah, well, you're, you're always using your battery. Uh, well, so it's at a time since the last full charge, one hour. That's all mine and, says. And I don't know yeah, why. Well, I thought you were looking for app usage. Yeah, yeah. So, for instance, on mine, it says Safari was 32%. It browser. was on screen for yeah, That's not your apps. You were looking for hours. Facebook. You were looking for a Facebook usage. I thought you were yeah, looking well, for... Uh, that's how we got there. I okay. took Facebook off the phone. Is there any other conversation we can start here? Let's get back to... Tell me about Jerry Orbach, uh, Tony, while we're... <laughs> yeah, well, Tony uh, had a good quality. Yeah, he was and, at, having lunch. Yeah, how long did your colonoscopy about. take, uh, Charlene? <laughs> I know. I um, uh, about, um, Wait. Yeah. Do you feel upset that we're not talking about medical things for once? By the way, uh, Jeff, tell us, how do you make a pacemaker? Go ahead. Well, oh, and meanwhile, we're going to go look and see if we can find this thing on here. And, 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 and we found the 3% bread. But and it shocks your heart. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go back to this American bakery thing for let's a second, Renee. If, if, if they were, it, can they lie on something like that? I mean, of course they can. No, this is this is the something. The Chinese do it. This is something you do. Well, that's your carpeting. Uh, <laughs> your, your, your car, your carpeting has no carbs. Okay, that's yeah, a good part none. about your none, zero carbs. Well, yes, you yes. Know, eventually, you'll get to me, and I'll show you my screen. But uh, <laughs> Charlene. Oh, wait, are we still on oh. cell phone? I might be, you know, annoying and changing. But mm. what's the name of that movie that came out? Um, it, oh, God, what's that actress? Say? It's the one about where they can't talk. They have to be quiet. It's a horror film or something. Yeah, it's a John Kaczynski and Emily yeah. Blunt. Yeah, that looks good to me. I really want to see looks that. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be very good. It's supposed to be excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She yeah. has to give birth, and she's trying to, you know, go into labor and have a baby. Without making a sound or something. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I made now. a big mistake tonight. Uh, 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 I was talking with Snyder today, and he said he's watching a show on AMC called The Terror. Mm -hmm. uh, and he told me what it was about, and I, I didn't want to watch it because whenever he recommends something, it sucks. Okay, I, I don't care. I just, <laughs> uh, you know, I, we've wasted a lot of money going to pictures he recommended. All right. Uh, look at this. For a show that didn't have any callers before, we're now up to uh, almost, uh, uh, we're up to at least with me, eight callers. Hi, John Perulis. Anyway, what I was going to say is, so he said, watch the terror. And oh, oh, there's a pacemaker yeah. for you out there, folks. Oh, put it back. Put it back. I'll yeah. look like it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that's a good one. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Now, anyway, Let's open anyway, it up anyway. And see what's so the, the my t- aunt had one, and it didn't look like that. That must be an expensive one. So I watched. <laughs> I watched the first hour of the terror, and it's it's about a, a ship in the 1800s trying to go through the Northwest Passage and getting frozen in the ice. Oh, Can nice. you think of anything more desperate, dull, and <laughs> and 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 just? It's it like you know, when the ship gets frozen like that, it, the hull gets broken apart. Uh, they it, it just like starts. Well, so far that hasn't happened, but they are but stuck. They should they are stuck in the ice? They are, yeah, that was a uh, Lord Franklin's expedition. That's, that's what, it, what I was. Is saying. it based on that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Because they all they don't know what talk- happened to them, right? Yeah, they they they, they uh, the the ship broke up. Uh, the crew was buried there. Uh, National Geographic exhumed their bodies, and the, they found that they died of lead poisoning. That's what I was uh, And uh, starvation. You, wait a minute. How do you die of lead poisoning? Yeah, well, how is that? It's they the had canned meat, and the meat was oh. the the tins were soldered with lead. Ah. Oh. Uh, that's all they had. Well, they to, didn't die of uh, like. They didn't freeze. It was lead poisoning from the cans. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so the weather didn't kill them. What killed them was the improper improper handling of their food. So yeah, not a big monster. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody have a modern iPhone? I have a modern iPhone. What do you mean, What's modern iPhone? I, I, I don't understand why you're not getting this thing under battery. Well, you have the iPhone X. Maybe for that extra thousand dollars you paid, but you the get guy that who feature. Showed this to me. Did it when I was using my 6s. Well, this is a 6s. Well, I, I don't understand. If you went under battery, it's uh, there. Yeah, I'm I going. I have an eight settings right now. I got a 6s I, I, and it's there. Uh, you you found it? Yeah. I'm going to okay. okay so I then go to battery. I then go to battery. Right. Right. Yeah, and then it's all there. Download okay, the, the, I, I, I was going to go to assault, but I will go to battery. <laughs> and, and now I have battery percentage at the top, right? And yeah. no, on the bottom yes. it says battery usage. Yeah, that's right. And then at the top, at the very top, there's a switch on battery percentage that you can yep. have it, right? Yeah. right. And then it says low power mode. Uh, it can you either turn it on or off. Then Keep battery going. health beta. Yep. And, Keep that, going. and that's it. Then I have usage and standby. Okay, on usage, uh, it will then download the programs that you've either used in the last no. 24 or the last seven days. I, I, uh, I, I, on the usage, look at this yeah. right there. It doesn't have any way that I can open that up. Did, did you say your pe- low power mode was on or off? Mine was off. Mine's off. Turn yours off, Alex, and let's see it's if tur- it It's you- turned off. My low power's off. Shit. So what's he doing? Are you Can seeing I, it? He's looking. He's looking for this stuff. Yeah. So you see it. You know see it. Got a better yeah. phone. Well, where did you get it? Because I don't get it here. It's not here. Well, see, does this part of the battery look the same as the part like your upper battery? Okay, part? hold on a second. Put it closer to the. Put it closer there. I'm trying to see. Wait a minute. So hold, hold on a second. I'm going to have to blow up. this up, folks. No, move it closer in. Move it closer in. Kevin, Bri- Kevin, Kevin move, move, move. All right. Well, here. Let me go to Renee's. There we go. Okay. Battery percentage. Move your cam- phone up a little bit so I can see the bottom. And then, well, Oops. Son of a bitch. Well, uh, Kevin. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. okay. Sorry. And hold it up. Yeah. Up higher. Up higher. Just up higher. Oh, there. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, go, go down. Go, go, go to where it starts there. Now go up a little bit. No, don't. So right- about here. Okay, but you're... see where, oh, reduce brightness. I don't have any of that. Set it. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Go ahead. Move That's it down. Nice move it so I can see up a little bit. Okay. Now let me, now put it up there. This let me bad. see. And, and let me, oh boy, I can't see because I'm, I'm, I've got a, all the people on the bottom. So the very bottom of the picture, you've got to move it up, move it up, move it up. Move your okay, camera. Okay, so does this look, nor- does that no. look like what no. you see? No, I got battery it's percentage. Thing? Then I've got uh, you see, yeah. and battery percentage is down here. Time since so last. Oh, battery. You're a six or a seven? He has a six. Oh, get rid of it because your battery sucks. <laughs> no, it's been the point. So is that what you're saying? My battery sucks. Yeah, yeah, my six, six, uh, six is different six than everybody's. Other well, 
Well, Kevin this, has it. I have a I six, six S. I have a six S, and I don't have it. It's the same thing. I don't, don't have it. Don't look at me. I'm out. What's your What's your iOS? Is it current? What's yes, your iOS? I, I, upda- I updated it the other night. I didn't ask you that. I asked you what your iOS was. You see, now for a show that didn't have any callers, we now have uh, what is commonly known here as a full Jim, house. It's a conspiracy. It's a full house, right? <laughs> I know. Oh, no, it's not a full house. Do we have one right. more? So, guess what I did today? Oh, well, as long as we're, uh, this is a show about nothing, uh, <laughs> what, what did you do today? NPR over in Hawaii is offering for a dollar a day membership, offers the ability for you to go up to the top of Mauna Kea, take not only a history tour about Mauna Kea by the people, the native people, but also talk to the scientists and they will let you into maybe maybe one or two or even three of the observatories up there. Ooh, Mm -hmm. I'm going. I'm going. A dollar a day is thirty dollars a month. I know, but you know what? This tour is one of a kind. Really? Yeah. So, yeah do it. That's fourteen thousand. It's a summit tour right? with the Monica Observatory tour. Hey, hey, Renee, if you ever go on a tour that has a hula dance, do a you know, bring your phone or whatever so that you can do like a live. You, you know what I would do? What I would really love to do is I would be willing to pay thirty dollars a month to NPR to get one of their announcers. <laughs> to talk louder than they normally do. Because everybody on NPR... Everybody on, That's spoken like a true radio Hold on a guy. second. Everybody on NPR... They talk, also talk every, that way on C-SPAN. Everybody on NPR talks this way. See, That's this is right. the way they do their show. Uh, Nobody ever says, Hi, Michael how are you, everybody? It's Alex Bennett. On NPR. Here on NPR, Did, we, didn't we're Hal swallowing Hal the microphone here on NPR. Didn't Hal Potkin tell you why they do that? Because no, because they're pretentious. Well, no, I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, because that's what we used to do in the early days of FM radio, you know. Well, let's just be really casual about things here. And, and the Alex Bennett program, and, you know, it's, it, what, what was it? George Carlin had a bit. He said, it's uh, 2 o'clock, and just before we go into news time and I go into a coma. <laughs> right, right. Uh, we'll work on the golf channel. Yeah, if you're exactly. interested in finding about Ma- finding out about Mars, um, they're going to also <laughs> maybe open up a tour so that you can tour the area, which is called the High Seas. Well, because uh, is the that, is the is, the, is the person that's going to take you on the tour from NPR going and over here is the telescope. Phil's interested in the Uranus tour. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Exactly. Where did you come up with that one? <laughs> And that hey, I was just thinking of it about you. I just got off the phone uh, with the police before I uh, <laughs> oh, came on the show. Thought. Yeah, what did you do? Uh, nothing. There was a gunshot or a cherry wow. bomb or something uh, n- right nearby, so I phoned it in. You phoned yeah. in a cherry oh, bomb? Yeah, it sounded like a shotgun blast. You know. Wow. No, I think did a you, did you, shotgun did you, blast. Did you react like Nicole Wallace did on MSNBC? Uh, no, I, I calmly call the police, and I'm sitting here with my phone in case they call me to tell me what happened. Well, that's hey, what, by the way, by the way, by... to the guy, you're not the guy that lives by Parkland, right? Remember the guy that lives by Parkland? <laughs> no, 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 that's another guy altogether called us a couple of weeks ago. And Alex, congratulations on being able to pin a spot in the map, the guy from London yesterday, right? Yeah, was right. London? Right. Yeah. But uh, uh, so anyway, so so I guess I have to keep doing the show for a while because now we have more than just two people. Damn it. Dude, I was hoping and praying this would be the end of my career. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, just on, a, on a slightly other note, have you heard about the pissing match between Sean Hannity oh. and Jimmy Kimmel? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they didn't like the fact that he did a bit on his show in which he showed uh, Melania Trump reading to kids at the Easter egg thing uh, on the on the oh, White oh, House. Oh, that was lawn. hilarious! And the role and, and 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 quite yeah. frankly, when you listen to her read this story, I don't think there was a single kid in that audience who understood a word she was saying. <laughs> they weren't looking at her mouth. Anyway. And then she says something about, and so he did this, and he did that. And so they come back to uh, uh, Kimmel, and he goes, this and that? 
He said, Guillermo, who's uh, the guy on his show, yeah. you could become first lady with an accent, with your <laughs> accent. Uh, hey, look, all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden Hannity picks. takes off after Kimmel on <laughs> his show saying that he's an ass clown. And yes. so Kimmel goes on the air last night and says, well, if I'm an ass clown, you're a whole ass circus. <laughs> he said, you're the acrobat, the guy that's shot from the cannon. You're all those asses. Hey, that was a fighting words. Yeah. I, I think we should never feel sorry for Melania. Nobody should I, feel sorry for her. Well, I don't yeah, know. I think she's being held hot sausage. A uh, hostage. Yeah, yeah I, I believe so. But yeah. I think, you know, she, she's it's the a first hot sausage. lady. You know, don't come, anybody in the White House, you, you should not feel sorry for them. She could get out of it. She could get out of what? Oh, the marriage. She could get out of the marriage yeah, now. She could get out of the marriage and get out of the White House. She could, be do, she could just take off and be a real person and actually do First Lady stuff and not be in the White House. Well, you hey, know, isn't she here on the Einstein visa? And when she's she, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When she wasn't in the White House, everybody complained that it, it cost much money to keep her at Trump Tower. You know, yeah. listen, whether she, hey, hey whether, over there. let me oh. tell you that whether she's a Trump Tower or not a Trump Tower, it still costs us $200,000 a day here in New York City for the security on that Scott building. Pruitt. Huh? Scott Pruitt has more security personnel than the Melania. Yeah, right. Really? But right. he can't use a siren. He's got 20. He has a bigger vagina. Yes, uh, Mar Charlene, Charlene has her hand up in, in what is a blatant. You know, you uh, just mentioned, um how expensive it is for new yorkers with the trump tower where is the secret service now remember he was charging the secret service you know like to have a place there in trump tower and now they went out to the truck or something are they still in the van yeah they were they were charging them for, they put for their that. utility uh tenso on top on top of the steam vents they pretend like they're utility workers no those are hobos oh that's right <laughs> Nobody says hobo anymore, Phil. They're homeless, not hobos. Oh, okay, homeless hobos. I mean, right. the presidency is kind of like a shoe. Kind of like an ice shanty we have here in Michigan. Well, I'll tell you, the president talks about you know Amazon taking business away from uh, from mom and pop, who, by the way, in case he's not interested, don't exist anymore and haven't existed for years, except uh, on the show. Except on the show, exactly. Uh, uh, but he has literally kill business for all those people who have businesses on Fifth Avenue, including such hallowed uh, organizations as Tiffany's, who's right down on the corner. They, their Probably business is down keys. precipitously because there is no, very little foot traffic going down that side of the street for a block, and they've also narrowed the lanes to like two lanes. I mean, it's terrible <laughs> down there. It's not Fifth <laughs> Avenue. He also created less jobs in the economy half the number of jobs that Obama did in 2016. But the jobs he created, Tim, were manufacturing uh, and... Uh, no, they weren't. Coal no, miners. Jobs. Most of them are Coal miners. I was thinking the Coal same thing. Yeah. Well, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It doesn't matter what the jobs are. The fact is Obama created more jobs than Trump has. Yeah, at, at McDonald's. No. You know, right. And Uber and Lyft and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, those guys are, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, they, these guys have a high-paying well, jobs in those coal mines be now. You're censored because of fake news. You need to stop that. Yeah. Give me those the facts. Is... Don't go off on a conspiracy theory, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and believe me, when you hear that, when you hear that from Tim, okay. Yeah, then you know. That's right. You know, it's yeah, like it, it, Tim, Tim so. saying that to you is like Trump saying to me, don't fuck around on your wife. That's my advice. <laughs> it's true. So, Kevin, what's your number one used app? <laughs> I don't have that on my phone. Well, you got to get a decent phone. I have the, I have the 6S, just like hey, the rest of you, except yeah, for you. But the rest of us have, you know, uh, ones that work. So can we talk Apple rumors? Because there's there's some Apple rumors flying around that their next uh, conference, which is this next month, yeah. they're going to be announcing some things. And then they're, of course, the one in the middle of the uh, summer. But people keep throwing around that they might be lowering the price of some of their phones so that they can get everybody. Nope, you don't think so? No. They lowered the price on their iPad. 
the Chinese make the. I read an article today about uh, these precious metals uh, that are, are are only available, and may, and the Chinese have a uh, a lock on them. And it seems as though it, they bought a magnetic company from GM years ago, uh, and they moved the factory over to China. And those metals are essential for uh, for phones and. And everything else, right. and they're well, it's, and they're around the world it's not bought the, up um, rights to all those weird special metals. Is metal. there a tariff I, on those? Uh, there, no, is, well, there is a metal, and I'm trying to remember what it is. It's used in the chips, and uh, dirt. it isn't that China has a monopoly on them. It's just that they are mined primarily in China because that's where right. they are. You that's know. correct. Yeah, uh, and so. Uh, if the price of the iPhones are going to go down, it's uh, I don't think so because if they can't get these metals to make them, how uh, then there's going to be a, a limited number, and the iPhone X will all of a sudden be uh, a hot seller again. <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is Trump, with his new tariffs, yeah, little trade wars are going to just drive everything right back up. Yep. Yeah. So but, and then inflation will follow, and people. Uh, I, just saw, I, saw, I just saw. I just saw. I just saw a guy today who was on the news, who has a company that makes wine, and he has crates and crates and crates of wine that are not leaving the shipping dock because they can't afford to pay the tariff that China is going to charge for them now in what has become this trade war. So what they have, along, along they with have the farmers, they haven't instituted the the tariffs yet. These are all just saber rattling everyone is a oh. threat if you look at the dates and the amounts uh they said on tuesday china said 50 billion on wednesday trump do you really said, believe do you really believe as he as trump said trade wars are good of course hey, hey, hey trump Phil, said, can i ask you can i ask you a question yeah tariffs are not, we should call them what they are they're taxes on american citizens no what it's, they what, are, what are they going to do well, let me ask do you think after the tax cut and then he puts all these tariffs on. Was the net effect a tax cut or a tax increase? Do you think the Chinese are dumping things and uh, at, at lower prices and killing our industry in this country? No, Absolutely. you'd have to we talk about which industry. We need a professional negotiator, not a used car salesman, running the negotiation. By the way, by, by the way, uh, interesting, Phil. But do you know? Um, who makes most of the parts in an Apple phone? The, uh, no. Where they're made? I would think China. Mm -hmm. China. You want the answer? It's U.S. Because right? Tim Cook, Tim Cook was being interviewed the other day. He said most of the parts in an Apple phone are made in the United States and then shipped to China for shipped assembly. China for for assembly. assembly. Assembled. Yeah. The rare earth minerals. Yes, rare that, earth. Right. Rare earth that's minerals right. that you yeah. need to make the phones. That's one of the things that China will hold over. Our heads. Most uh, of the guys that the most of the farmers that I've talked to locally, hey, Renee, that, what are you looking at? That are uh, <laughs> Trump <is> voters <laughs> are going to get screwed. Yeah, they're not happy. Yeah, Trump yeah. Starting pork and soybeans. Yeah. Well, that's going. That's going to be good. Let's let's support our farmers. Yeah, well, what are, belly, yeah. Eat more soybeans, belly. right? You know, no, they've got. They need that uh, that Chinese money. Uh, to take care of at least a third of their output on those farms. And hey, China uh, owns about 25% of U.S. real estate see, in Florida, you know, Yeah, well, they also, they also, ha they also, we owe them as a country most of the money in our national debt. So anytime yeah, they want to call in those markers, check. anytime they want to call in those check. markers, we are <laughs> fucked. You know, Putin's coming. Putin's coming. I say, Putin's I say, coming. if the Chinese want to do repossession, take Florida, okay? <laughs> oh uh, yeah, it's, it's it, 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 gratis. I'll uh, lead you to it. Anyway, hey, listen, we got to go here. What do you know? It started out being just two people, and I threatened to take the show off the air, and then all of a sudden people started calling, and I said we would never do another show again if I had to close it down, and I'm forced to do another show come next Tuesday. Well. Yeah. well so be it. Anyway, uh, and that, that uh, Tuesday, well, that um, Ronnie will be on with us, uh, my wife, okay. my ex-wife, and then next week also we'll have the first uh, ep ep part of the interview I did with Jack Garfine. Hey, uh, thank you, Phil. Appreciate it. You're always there for me, uh, Kevin. Thank you for saving the program. You're the guy that called in and saved the program. 
thank, uh, thank you, Charlene. <laughs> thank you, John Perulis. Thank you, Tony. And thank you, Renee. And thank you very much, Jeff, because, again, you're one of the people who I could count on who were here for the first hour of the show. Otherwise, I would have. Been, I was putting a noose up here. I was getting ready to kill myself. <laughs> well, and, uh, hey, uh, all of you, uh, you know, it might be really nice if what you did right about now is uh, just wave goodbye to the uh, folks out there. And, uh, yeah, there they are. That's the Citizens Panel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So, you see, threats do work, ladies and gentlemen. I can use threats, and uh, uh, people will then call. <laughs> It's so pathetic, isn't it, that I have to resort to that? Okay. Well, anyway. Hey, listen, up next, you've got a show called uh, The uh, Intersection. That's with Jack and Amy. And then uh, uh, long about 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time, is Connections. I'll be back again uh, right after Damian Chaplin with The Exchange on Tuesday at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime... If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>